Welcome to Excel Magic Trick number 102. Hey, if you want to download this workbook and follow along, click on my YouTube channel, then click on my college website link, and you can download the workbook Excel Magic Tricks 101 to 106. Hey, in this Magic Trick, we're going to see how to highlight a duplicate. So if Chin is in this list, and Chin is again, we don't want to highlight the first one, but we want to highlight the whole row, which is a record if it's a duplicate. Now, we, I've done other videos on this topic, but not for conditional formatting. If you look up here, there's a great uh, duplicate example that's very similar, but for data validation that actually prevents you from typing a duplicate. And this will also involve uh, cell references. And there's um, some references to other videos if you're not sure how to do the cell reference. All right, um, let's just off to the side, see if we can come up with a true-false formula for conditional formatting, because that's what um, you can put into conditional formatting, a formula that comes out to be true or false. And we want a formula that tells us when we run into the first duplicate. So let's uh, click in this cell right here. I'll actually blow this up, make it a little bit easier equals count if. And what do we want to count? We want to count uh, a range and then criteria. So our range is going to be, we're going to click on that cell right there. And then we're going to put a, a shift colon that puts C8 to C8 because we want this range to expand as we copy down. Right now, those are relative cell references. But if you double click the C8 and hit the F4 key, you have two dollar signs. And then click on the uh, second C8 and hit F4, F4, F4. That'll put dollar sign just in front of the column. Because if we want to highlight the whole row, you need to lock that formula going across the column, but not down. And then we're going to put a comma, and we're going to have to use that same C8 again. Because in essence, what we want to do is we want this part of the range to expand, but we always want this as a relative cell reference looking at the latest um, item name. And then F4, F4, F4 to lock that. And what do we want to check? We want to see when that's greater than 1. Okay, So that's the formula that will work all the way down. Now for this particular formula that we copy down, we don't need the exact these exact uh, cell references. We could have left that one without a dollar sign and this one without a dollar sign. However, when you're doing conditional formatting to highlight a whole row, you need those exact cell references. I'm going to control enter and then copy and send it down. Uh, so you see here's the first true, Sheila. There's the Sheila, which is OK because it's not a duplicate, but here. So now, um, you can see that that worked, and that's a way of, of testing because when you do conditional formatting, you don't put a formula in the cell. It's stored in memory. So I'm going to click in the cell and hit F2. That's edit mode. And then I'm going to copy this whole thing like that. Uh, and then Control C, and I'm going to hit Escape. And now on to conditional formatting. Now when you do conditional formatting for a whole range of values, you need to be aware of where the active cell is. So I'm going to start there and then highlight all the way down. Notice that uh, cell is the active cell. And that's where, in memory, the formula will go down and be copied in memory over and down. Now, how do you get to conditional formatting? In 2007, it's home. Styles, conditional formatting, and then you'd say new rule for formula. In 2003, you click on the formatting menu and then conditional formatting. I'm going to show you the keyboard shortcut that works um, in both versions. Alt, O, D. Alt, and then O, D. Now, let's click new rule in 2007 and then use formula. In 2003, you have to click the first um, uh, drop down arrow and point to is formula. We will both, in both versions, get this text box for the formula. And I'm going to control V. Notice uh, that C8, even though in memory it's starting there, the formula and copying it over, it's always looking there, right? But when it goes down to the next one, it'll always look there for that whole row. Now let's add some formatting. Click the format. Uh, and fill, this says patterns in earlier versions. And I'm going to say, uh, this blue right here, and then font color, how about white? I'm going to go back to this filler pattern. I'm going to select a darker one. And then click OK, and then click OK. There's more OKs in 2007. Click OK. And sure enough, there it is. And if you um, uh, 
uh, I randomized this so we can see how that works. Uh, there's teen, teen, Sue, Sue's right there. So there you go. That's how to do conditional formatting for the uh, duplicate. All right. See you next trick.